How's it going guys? I'm Theo Joe, and today we're going to be talking about a new feature announced by Mozilla who owns Firefox and that is a free Firefox VPN that you can use with the browser. So we're going to talk about how it works, is it worth it to use even considering it's free, that sort of thing. Let's get into it. Now this feature which is being called the Firefox private network actually comes out of Firefox's test pilot program where they beta test beta features, uh, services, that sort of thing. So technically this is a beta service, but you don't have to sign up for any beta or you don't have to use the beta version of Firefox or anything. It's actually an extension. Now, obviously one of the notable things about it is that it is free for now, but Firefox has said apparently they are planning on p potentially making this a paid feature at some point. I believe Mozilla has said in the past that they're trying to monetize Firefox with some premium features at some point. So that might include this VPN and that might also include things like cloud storage, some other features. Obviously Firefox itself as the browser is not gonna be paid, but they might add some premium features like this. But regardless of that, you still can use this VPN for free now. Now how this works, it's pretty much like you would expect. It does hide your IP address. It's gonna encrypt your data. So that's gonna be good if you're on like a Wi-Fi hotspot, a public Wi-Fi hotspot, something like that. And apparently it's based on Cloudflare service. So Cloudflare, obviously you know they have a uh, content delivery network, they protect websites, that sort of thing. And they also have a free VPN service they launched recently called Warp, and I believe it's based on that same idea. So if you do look at the Cloudflare Warp terms of service and the privacy claims they have on there, they do say that they do not collect user identifiable logs and that they do not ever sell browsing data, so that is good. If Firefox is basing it off that, then you can assume this is gonna be pretty secure, even though it is free. That is one of the big issues with uh, free VPNs usually, that they do sell user data, that's how they make their money. But if Firefox is partnering with Cloudflare on this, and that is a reputable company, and they say they're not gonna be selling user data, then you don't have to worry about this being too sketchy. But one important thing to know is that the features in this free VPN are extremely, well, non-existent, honestly. You can basically turn it on and off. That's pretty much it. You can't select region or server, anything like that. The only option is whether you wanna turn it on or off. Now, considering this is a free VPN, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what the speeds are gonna be. So, of course, I did a couple speed tests. I did a speed test without the VPN on, with it on, and then we can compare it to another paid VPN. So for some context, I actually have a gigabit upload and download plan from my ISP. So we can do one without the VPN at all for a baseline. So with speedtest.net, I got a result of 683 megabits per second down and 909 megabits per second up and a ping of three milliseconds. So that's pretty typical. I very rarely get the fastest download and upload speed. And I don't know why the upload speed is higher in this case, but that's what we're gonna use as the baseline. So we can do this now with the Firefox VPN and the results are for download speed, that's 525 megabits per second download and an upload of 140 megabits per second and a ping of 13 milliseconds. So that's actually pretty fast and actually faster than I expected. So obviously both speeds took a hit, both download and upload. So with the download speed, it was about 25% slower, but still that's over 500 megabits per second, which is ridiculously fast. On the upload speed, it took a way bigger hit, 85% slower, but still, if you just look at the speed in a vacuum, 140 megabits per second is really nothing to laugh at. That's still gonna be good enough for 99% of things you're gonna be working on. And if you do always need the absolute gigabit, well, then obviously that's when you might wanna pay for a paid VPN service or just not use a VPN in that case. So as far as VPN speeds go, especially a free one, I do think those are great speeds for that test. Now you might be wondering how this is gonna to compare to a paid VPN service. So I did test it against private internet access, which is a paid VPN service. So the results for that were a download speed of 546 megabits per second an upload of 804 megabits per second, and it said a ping of zero milliseconds. I don't think that's accurate. That might just be because of where the VPN and test servers were located. But just looking at the upload and download speeds, obviously the Firefox VPN is pretty similar to the paid one in terms of download, and then the paid one really was able to shine on the upload speed and give me pretty much the full speed there. So again, considering it's free, I think this is a really good speed for a VPN. Now I do need to mention there are a few limitations for this free VPN, obviously. First of all, this is not available on mobile yet. It's only available on the desktop version of Firefox 
and for United States users only. Now, I'm not really sure what would happen if you used a VPN to pretend to be in the United States, download it to your Firefox and install the extension and then try it from outside the United States. It might let you, I'm not sure. You can try that. Just know that technically it's only for United States users. Another important thing to know is you do need to log into the VPN with a Firefox account, which is free. I'm not really sure why they require this, maybe so they can prevent abuse or something like that, but just know that you need to have a Firefox account. Also, like I mentioned before, unlike other paid VPN apps where you can download it and use it for your whole computer, this is only gonna be able to be used within the Firefox browser. And again, the settings are non-existent, so you can't choose a region. So if you are trying to use this to hide your regional location, that wouldn't really work because it probably will choose a server that's closest to you, so people will still know the area you're from even if you're using this VPN, they just wouldn't know your exact IP address. So if you wanted to hide your actual like region, country, you'd need to go with a paid service. Now I should point out there is one competitor from the Opera browser. Opera is a browser that's been around for a while. They apparently do also offer a free VPN. I'm not really familiar with it, so I'm not really sure how secure it is. They claim it's all secure, they don't take logs, that sort of thing. And that actually does have some additional features above the Firefox. Fox one. So the Opera browser VPN actually does allow you to choose a region. So that might be something to look into. I don't know a lot about it, but it's worth looking at, I think. So overall, my opinion on the Firefox free VPN is that I think as a free VPN, it's not bad. It's pretty good speed wise. I mean, you can't really beat the simplicity of it. You just turn it on. And if you just want to basically make sure your connection is secure, if you're on free public Wi-Fi, something like that, it's a good deal. Now, would I pay for it? Definitely not. I mean, there's really no feature to speak of. So if you're going to pay for a VPN, you may as well go for something that has not only just for your browser, but also can encrypt all your other computer's data and has a bunch of other settings in there like regional selection. Of course, Firefox may add those features over time, but that's where it stands right now. So that's just my opinion. I'd love to know what you guys think though, maybe whether you think it's worth it using this free B VPN or you're just gonna stick with paid ones. Now, if you wanna keep watching, the next video I'd recommend is one I just made recently talking about the secret shipping method that you probably have never heard of. I think you guys will really find that interesting. So I'll just put the link here, you can just click on. And so thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.